Uh, what the hell are you doing? Repressing my anger. Stand back. You don't know when I'm going to open this thing. Yikes. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Anger is an important emotion that we are only ever taught to repress as kids if we wanted to stay out of trouble, get the things we wanted, or fit in socially. And where this might have worked for us as kiddos to keep us in line, repression doesn't work in adulthood, folks. In fact, it causes tremendous emotional distress, which is why I'm so keen on these two words, emotional development. As adults, we need to work on the containment of anger, not the repression of it. Containment allows us to stay with our anger long enough to understand where our anger is really coming from so we can then verbalize this effectively to the other or assert a boundary. Hey hon, where do you want to eat tonight? I don't know, where do you want to eat? How about Chinese? Uh, not Chinese. What about Italian? No, not Italian either. You do this every time, why? It's strange, I know. I can't seem to access that feeling of wanting anything. All I know is what I don't want. It's frustrating for me too. Have you ever bought something to make a salesperson happy? Look what I just found for you, it's beautiful. Try it on. It looks fabulous on you. Yeah, I don't know about the color. Really, are you sure? Hmm, okay. Well, maybe I can make it work with a different shirt and some jeans. Yes, exactly. I'll meet you at the register. Have you ever bought into one of those pyramid schemes? Yep, I sure have. It's so weird, they like pretend to be your friend, then you buy into it and they ghost you. You're not even there. But I learned something that poor boundaries and thinking that you owe somebody something just because they're nice to you is a surefire way to make a bad decision. Public announcement, you might be addicted to attention. Yeah, after just one time meeting someone, I totally get hooked to the attention they give me. And then I just find myself wanting it and thinking about it more and more. Why does this keep happening to me? Obsessing over the attention people give you that you date can come from a lack of positive attention during your formative years that is turned into what we call an anxious ambivalent attachment style. So the task is now for you to learn how to give yourself positive attention in the form of self-care, love, trust and self-respect because ultimately trying to get this kind of attention outside of ourselves only ends up in disappointment.